Is everybody? I'll do the injury report for you. Uh, EJ Biggers did not practice. Uh, Jason Hatcher did not participate. Chris Baker was limited. Ryan Clark was limited. Silas Red did not participate. Jordan Reed was limited. Full was Trent Williams, uh, Breland, and Golston. Could you talk a little bit more about uh, Hatcher's injury now that he's missed two days in a row? Uh, he just got a little lingering soreness, uh, you know, just from wear and tear, I think, on his body. It's his other knee, um, but I think he'll be fine. It's just something he has to deal with as a football player. You know, some of these injuries kind of this late in the season kind of catch up to you a little bit, and they just kind of linger, but uh, I think he'll be fine. Uh, Coach, with uh, with EJ not being out there two days in a row now, um, I imagine there's some concern there that he's not going to be ready to go Sunday. Normally, a concussed player yeah. is trying trying to do something out there, right? Yeah, yeah, there is some concern. You know, we want to make sure EJ's uh, obviously 100%. And he's going to go through the proper measures, and if there's any lingering side effects whatsoever, obviously safety first with these players, and uh, we'll have to make adjustments and uh, work out some other guys inside and a nickel. Yeah, I was going to say it means you're probably going to have to go outside the organization to to get another cornerback if you can't play, right? No, we're we're okay in house. Right. Yeah, we have you know we Ducre played last week. We have Minifield on our roster, okay. and uh, so we got enough guys. We still have uh, you know obviously Amerson will be back up this week. Oh, so, yeah. yep. Who who would who would who would take over in that nickel role then? Oh, we have a couple options. You know, we have T. Rob can play in there. We got uh, a couple other guys in there, and we can move people around. I think we proved last week that we can be pretty flexible with our personnel. <laughs> so uh, we're working a lot of people in at different spots. We're trying to get used to that. Um, with with Hatcher, you talk about you think it'll be okay for Sunday or yeah, we're hoping for Sunday. You know that's our goal. You know we just want to make sure you know you know he just gets the needed rest. Um, the big guy he, uh, plays hard, obviously, and just got a little bit of soreness in his knees and knee or his knee, I should say. And then uh, we just want to make sure we give him the rest that he needs, so he's uh, good to go for Sunday. But we'll we'll continue to monitor him tomorrow and find out where he's at. Are you planning? For Trent Williams to play Sunday? That's the plan, you know. Uh, he looked good today. He was full participation today. Um, like I said, we'll uh, get him with the trainer and get treatment afterwards, and we'll see how he's doing tomorrow, but he looked fine today. Jay, you mentioned the other day the possibility of making other changes on offense. I think we asked you like 29 questions about Griffin yesterday and, and Tracy Porter. W was there anything else that you changed offensively, personnel-wise, that you anticipate for Sunday? Uh, not that I know of, no. I think we're good. You know, the big thing is finding out if Jordan Reed can go or not. You know, we're... Uh, slowly but surely working him back in here, see how his hamstring's doing. Um, you know, that gives you a different element, obviously. Uh, but other than that, I think it's status quo for the offense. How did uh, Coach Bernie get hurt? And um, it sounds like he's going to be out a, a week or two or whatever. How does that tough, affect things going forward? Tough being in this building this day and age. we got some guys going down, and Coach Bernie just uh, slipped as he's going from the stairs to the floor in the kitchen. And, uh, you know, I had to have surgery yesterday. So, um I think he'll be okay. He'll have a full recovery, but uh, you know he's going to be tied up for a while. So it looked like um, Coach Baker and, and Hazlitt were running yeah, the D line today. Exactly right. Coach Baker will have a little bit more responsibility with the defensive lineman also, and then Coach Hazlitt will help out with the outside linebackers also. Okay. All right. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving.